Hey guys and welcome back to an unfiltered mini review. This is a review for just one product and it's this little guy right here, this tapestry rubber play mat. Uh, in this video, we're just gonna talk about what the play mat is and whether or not you should pick it up. So the first thing to know about the tapestry play mat is that it is a rather large size play mat and it fits on the middle of the table when playing the game Tapestry by Stonemaier Games. The other great thing about this play mat is it includes every portion for the base game and all the expansions like plans, employees, the area for the cards, uh, an area for everything else you'll need in the game. Uh, this is double thick, like I said, double stitched. It is a rubber play mat and it fits everything that you see. It's also double sided, double sided as in you can play it with one side or the other depending on the number of players you are playing in the game tapestry. And it does require a larger area now that it is uh, including all the expansions and includes the different portions of boards represented on the mat itself. If you're looking for a playmat for a board game, then I think this one is a wonderful addition to your game of tapestry. Not only is it better looking than the game board, but it also feels better. It's easy to remove cards from the mat, and it's easier to take things off of it, put things on. Um, personally, for me, I know a lot of people like actually boards compared to mats. Um, this is actually probably one of my favorite ways to play board games are mats like these. And the reason why is because they look freaking cool and I love the way they feel the texture of them. And this rubber play mat is excellent. It's excellent quality, it's beautiful, and it is very, very vibrant. Sometimes you'll lose coloration with these guys. Sometimes when you fold the mats and you put them away and you bring them out, they have these nasty little crinkles. I actually had this one, I tested this one before I reviewed it, by folding it up and rolling it up and smushing it in one of my large bins that holds mats. And I pulled it out last night and placed it on this table and here you see there actually is no bins and folds there were folds when I first pulled it out but after letting it sit for a while it rested and it felt it looks great once again which is excellent so the quality is excellent all the qualities that you want for a mat for a game are here and if you're looking for a mat for tapestry maybe you just didn't even know this existed then you have the opportunity to do so however my little qualms about it is obviously there's one problem it's really 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 large and if you don't have a table space for the game the base game tapestry as it is this is what we're gonna probably be very difficult for you to place it down. This is a mini review though. I just want to let you guys know that there is a play mat for Tapestry. It was on the more expensive end, but that is because it is excellent quality. It wouldn't bother me. If I, want, if I wanted everything for Tapestry, this price point would not bother me. I think it's about 30 bucks. Uh, and it is very, very excellent in quality and coloration. It looks great and feels great. So if you're interested and you have seen my review for Tapestry, maybe you already own Tapestry by Stonemeyer Games, the guys who did Scythe and Wingspan, then maybe consider picking up this little mat as well. For me personally, it's an excellent addition. I'll actually be using this from now on for the rest of my Tapestry games just because it fits all of the expansions and I have to have separate little boards everywhere on the game board now. I really like this little guy. So anyway, if you're looking for a mat, here you go. Thank you guys for watching another mini review by Unfiltered Gamer for the Tapestry Rubber Play Mat. If you're interested in picking this up, like I said, there's a link down below in the description. If you've never heard of Tapestry, consider watching my previous video or any other videos on YouTube that describe Tapestry. If you wanna pick the game up, um, Try that out first, obviously, before picking up any of the deluxified versions. I always suggest play the base game. Then if you want the expansions, pick those up. And then if you want the upgrades, go from there, especially if it, have, if it has, has upgrade inclusions on the whatever it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time.